cuties! So today I am going to be doing a frequently asked questions on fake boobies because I've done a few videos about boobs and fake boobs, my experience and stuff like that, but there was tons of questions about boobs, which is understandable because people want to know. People are interested. So I asked you guys on Twitter and you came up with a lot, so I'm going to go through them right now. How did people around you react? People were, well, people that I knew thought I was crazy. They thought that I was going to get them so big that you wouldn't even be able to see my face or my stomach or anything anymore. They thought I would just be like one big fake boob. Some people just can't expand their horizons and vision what breast implants would look like on somebody. They think like breast implants and then you're just going to be like, like a boob, like one big boob. That's all we're going to see. So a lot of people, that's how they felt was it was going to be just too dramatic and you're always gonna have your cleavage out and you're never gonna cover up and whatever you wear it's just gonna be like out to here that was the main reactions to it other people were just you know do what you want if it's what makes you happy if you can afford it then do it my boyfriend says can I see them mm. I've heard that implants need touch-up surgery after a certain number of years what have you experienced yes that is true um, I believe it's every 10 years different surgeons will tell you that they last a lifetime which lifetime means 25 years some will say 20 some will say five um, some say well you'll never need them again but it's usually like 10 years you will need them touched up or replaced because they don't last forever things do expire same with age <laughs> so I haven't experienced anything that needs them replaced or touched up or anything like that um, but after my time period has expired I will get them replaced maybe bigger probably bigger probably let us just be honest one of the most asked questions was what size were they before I was very 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 tiny I didn't even need to wear a bra most of the time because I was just like just a chest with nipples on it I was barely an A cup I wore a 30 a and it was huge your shirt or your bra is supposed to be like flesh with your skin like this like mine was lifted all the way up and when I would wear a t-shirt it would be like the bra would be just like coming out of the shirt like you could just tell it wouldn't fit me why are people so obsessed with your boobs that's my question that's my question too I don't know I think it was because I hadn't answered it for years and when you don't like state or make something known then people like to talk and talk and make rumors and say that you're this and that so I think that's why it was just because I wasn't saying anything about it and now when I've only made like two videos people are like oh that's all you talk about that's all you talk about it's like oh my god <laughs> do they hurt this was another question I was asked a lot no right now they do not hurt I can punch them like this and it doesn't hurt <laughs> Would you ever get a smaller size? No! Can you show them? Um, no, I don't think I can. This is not X2. That, that's that. Were they hard to get used to? Uh, yes, actually they were. It was very weird to get used to them. Just even putting on a seatbelt, it's like, oh god, like I have like big life preservers here now. Like, oh my gosh, like just had to, you know, maneuver things. And sleeping was hard to get used to. Just getting up, running. New shirt size, new bra sizes. Just having things there was just a little bit of a challenge to get used to, but now 100% used to them. I would never leave you. Because plastic floats, does that ever affect going swimming? OMF, I probably sound like an idiot. No, you actually do not sound like an idiot because when I first got them done, um, about like a few months later or such down the road, it was my friend's birthday party and we were all going to a hotel for her birthday. And we went into the hot tub and my friend at the time said, are your boobs gonna float? Like, are you not gonna be able to like go under the water because you're boobs are just gonna bring you up to float and I said no I'm pretty sure I can just like go swimming like a normal individual like haven't you ever seen those sexy videos of those girls with huge boobs like in the water like <gasps> so we tested it on the hot tub I just like set my boobs like above here and it was normal if I put them here it was just the same and if it was here so that's about all I've experienced. What did your mom say about them? Uh, I got this a lot too. My mom went and got them done with me, so she was like, girl, you look good. Have you ever been made fun of or judged because of your boobs? Love you. Absolutely. People, um, well, people will judge about anything on YouTube. Um, in person, no. I have never been judged about, uh, made fun of? Yes. Because I hang out with a lot of guys, I always have. People will call you tits, jugs. Uh, you can't do that because your boobs will pop out and stuff like that. Like, you have huge boobs and stuff like that, which I don't care. Do it all you want. Don't hate me if you ain't me. But on YouTube, absolutely, like, every day of my life. I'm always made fun of. They're too big for you. They're too small for you. They're crooked. They're orange. They're yellow. They're pink. It's like, bye. <laughs> And thank you for everyone with the sweet comments and saying that they are good for my body and it doesn't matter even if they are, 
it just matters that I like them and I'm comfortable with them and I'm healthily comfortable with them. They're not like hindering my ability to, you know, walk up the stairs or something. Back pains. I only experience back pains. I don't even know if this is from boobs at all. It could not be from boobs. Um, if I'm doing dishes and it's the weirdest thing, like I work out, I stand up to make supper, I hang out with my friends, I go shopping, like, you know, I'm standing a lot, but only when I'm doing dishes, I get back pains. I don't know if that's just my body or if it has anything to do with boobs, but I get really bad back pains if I'm doing dishes. Would you ever get them bigger? If so, what size? Hell yes, I would get them bigger. I want them bigger. Not anytime soon. I'm not like planning or anything to get them bigger. And if one day I do plan, you guys will be the first to know and I will vlog it and journey it and stuff like that just before anyone asks. But um, I do not know what size just cause I'm not like dead set on it right now. But in the future, yes. Did anyone tell you not to do it? My mom at the starting, and if you watched my plastic surgery experience video, you will know all about that. A lot of people I worked with, I worked at Value Village at that time, a lot, like almost everyone at Value Village was like, don't do it, you're gonna regret it, it's gonna look huge, and it's gonna be fake, and they're gonna fall out of your body, and they're gonna, you know, rupture and leak. I'm like, what? How do you even know? When was the age that you first wanted to get implants? Well, I have always wanted bigger boobs, like, my whole life or like the starting of puberty um i've always wanted bigger boobs um and as a joke when i was like 12 or 13 i would like joke like oh i'm getting breast implants it wasn't anything serious i was not at all wanting them back then but it was kind of just like i wanted bigger boobs and that's just what i wanted the age when i like knew that i wanted breast implants was about like 15 or 16, I knew that I wanted to get them. Does it ever get in the way of things? If so, what? Love you tons. Yes, uh, sleeping is like the main thing that it gets in the way of is like laying down or being comfortable. How much did you pay and how old were you? I love you so much. Um, well, I got silicone, so it is a little bit more expensive than saline. I paid 6,800, I think was everything before taxes. I can't remember, but my total amount that I actually paid for was $7,100. And yes, that's for both. I have been asked, is that just for one? What? Yeah, that's just for one. You know, you walk out with one because you can only afford one. Sorry, I can only afford 3,000 or something like that for one, so bye. No, you wouldn't sell one or a two for one special or a one for one special. And that included the breast implants, the surgery, the pre-op, um, our drainage systems, the doctor's wages and time and stuff, the hospital time, nurses, anesthesia. Yeah, so that includes everything all together. It was $7,100. And yes, I will do a video on how I afforded it and how I paid for them. Um, how old was I? I was 19 years old. Did they hurt when you got your implants? Absolutely, it, it was quite painful. Um, for the first little while, but then after that, not at all. Oh, same girl. In what ways did the implants improve your life in positive ways? In positive ways, it made me more confident to be in like shirts, even just like a shirt like this. I would be like, oh my God, I have a little bit of cleavage. It looks so much better. Even though I was very confident before, it just like boosted it even further. Um, so confidence, I'm able to like walk around and love my chest along with the rest of my body. Why did you get them done? I got them done because I always, always wanted them it was just I love the look of fake boobs like I just love big fake boobs I love big fake boobs and I ain't gonna lie it's not hate but do you feel like a hypocrite when you tell girls to love their own bodies when you yourself had surgery I put this one in here because I really wanted to include it I'm like playing with these little tassels here <laughs> very good question I do not feel it's hypocritical because it is still my body these are still like my boobs it's just enhanced um, I didn't change the look of them. Like they still look the same. If you took these out, they would look the same. It's just, they're bigger. Do you know what I mean? I do love my body right now. And I did in the past. This is just something that I wanted to do for an enhancement, something just to, to improve the way that I looked at my body. Because when I looked at my body in the mirror, I would, you know, love the way I looked, but I just wish I would have a little bit more boobs so I could fill out clothing items so that things would just look better on me and fit me better. And I just love the look of them. So no, I don't feel like that's hypocritical because I love my body in the past and now you should always love your body no matter what. Did you need to ask permission to get them done? No, because I was over the age of 18, but I guess I did technically have to ask permission to the plastic surgeon and he said, yeah, girl. <laughs> 
Is it hard to find bras? Absolutely. I don't know if that's just me and my body type um, because my mom finds bras perfectly. Her size is great and it fits her great. A lot of girls do that have breast implants, but for me, it's extremely hard. Um, a bombshell bra fits me great, but another bra from Victoria's Secret, like the super sexy or whatever, does not fit me in the same size. Like I'm usually like in between sizes. It's just very strange sizing. Like it'll fit me um, great in the cup, but then here it'll be like loose and then here will be really loose or tight, but yet it'll be tight and then these will just like fall down like this. And I'm like, what? So it is very hard for me to find bras and Victoria's Secret is my place. It's like the only place that I can actually find most of the time a bra that'll fit me. And because my boobs still grow, like still grow, my boobs just keep growing all the time and that's another reason why it is hard for me to find bras. Can you sleep on your stomach? Great question. Um, I can, but not for a long period of time because it just gets sort of um, a little tender. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't hurt or anything like that, but it just feels uncomfortable if I sleep on my stomach for a long period of time. But at the starting, when I first got them done, no, I could not sleep on my stomach. What made you decide to go to Toronto to get them done? How was the experience with that doctor? I went to Toronto because I researched for probably a year to a year and a half straight of everything in general, but mainly the doctor. Like, who do I want? First of all, I looked in my province, Saskatchewan, and a lot of the doctors had bad reviews. And also, somebody close to me had them done in Saskatchewan, and they were screwed up. They screwed up their breasts, and also in reviews, he had screwed up other people's as well. So I just decided not to go to Saskatoon, so I started branching out to like Alberta, BC, Ontario, and even in the States. And the best surgeons that I found were in Toronto. There was three that were like amazing that I had researched, followed reviews, before and after pictures, testimonies. I went on to um, breast implants forums and found girls that were like really recommending these surgeons in Toronto. So that is why I went to Toronto because he was so sweet. He knew what he was doing. They still look good to this day, even though it's been a few years. It's almost been six years. So yeah, he did a great job for them being six years old. Oh, I should give them a birthday. Yeah, see, as it's being so long and I haven't had like any complications in six years and he knew what he was doing. They were great. He took care of me and my mom spectacularly, spectacularly. Spectacular. <laughs> he was spectacular. And because me and my mom were from, you know, miles away and we were still able to come and stay in his office and he got us in so close together and he was amazing. So that is why. Did you ever regret getting them? No. Why did you pick silicone? I picked silicone even though it is more expensive than saline. I picked silicone because I liked the way it felt. Um, in hand because when you go there it's blindfolded basically well you just close your eyes and you feel and you say which one you like better like he just has the implants there not just like a girl like hey girl the implants there and you just feel and then you say which one you like better and I love silicone way better saline to me felt like a bag of water it literally like you could you could hear it like crunching almost and felt like like it's just like a bag of water like a ziploc bag full of water that is what it felt like to me honestly well really that's kind of what it is saline it's salt water in an implant so I just that just was not for me um, silicone was very like gummy they call it like the gummy bear it was gummy and it was together and it felt like a boob like it was squishy like a boob it wasn't like watery and another reason um, if they do rupture which they definitely can um, saline if you get a little pinprick in it, I actually watched a lot of videos on YouTube of, you know, leakages and stuff. You could probably YouTube them and find them, but if you get a little nick in your breast implant, which could happen with a lot of different ways, the saline, your boob will just deflate into nothing, right? Because it is water and it'll just all leak out. And it's completely safe for your body because it's just salt water. So if that happens, it's not that big of a deal, but you'll have to go through the surgery again. Silicone, if you get a like a nick in it, nothing will happen. And if you get like a big gouge out of it, nothing will happen as well. Like I, we watched them like cut one open on YouTube. When you push on it, if there's a huge cut out of it, when you push on it, all the liquid is, or all the gel, I guess, I don't really know, the silicone is all together. So when you have a cut in it and it's all gonna come out, it's all gonna come out together, right? And how can it? Like how can it just like push right out unless you're like putting hands on it and forcing it to pop out? So it'll all stay together. So if it were to leak out, it would only leak out like this. 
and just like sit there like that. But silicone is not good for your body. If it was to leak or something like that out a little bit, that is not healthy for your body and you would need to get them replaced. I just loved the way silicone was held up, the way it stood up to uh, dangerous activities, I guess, even though I don't do dangerous activities, but like if somebody were to like punch me or something like that, or stab me, I'd be like, bitch, built in shield. <laughs> I just think they were better, felt better. However, I'm pretty sure Trish has saline and hers felt amazing. Like they felt like nice and squishy and perky. So maybe when they're actually implanted, they'll feel a little bit different. Do you ever think they would fall off? Most of you may seem like this is a dumb question. Absolutely not. This is like one of the best questions that I think I got because that is what I felt the first almost month I had them. When the bandages were taken off and everything and you just like had your boobs like as I do now, um, I was scared to like go walk around because I'm like, they're gonna fall out. My boobs are going to fall out. That's what I thought like back in 2009, I was like so afraid of my boobs falling out. Seriously, almost every day, I thought my boobs were just gonna fall to the ground. I would look on the ground and say, please don't let this in plant fall to the ground. Did you have scars? If so, how long did it take for them to fade away? Um, at the starting, I had incisions obviously, and then when they started to heal, I put bio oil on them and that helped so much. I only now have like a really, really slight little scar. And by the way, I got them underneath. You know, you can go different ways like armpit, belly button, through the nipple and stuff like that. But I got them underneath and just placed right in. I have just a very minimal scarring right now. I used bio oil, that really helped. I know this is weird. Nothing is weird in this video, girl. But what do they feel like? Are they natural feeling or like hard? Definitely not hard at all. When I first got them done, they were pretty hard. They were like, just like kind of like, they looked like plastic, just like sitting there. And now when they have dropped and formed with my body, they are so soft. Let me put down this laptop. I will try to show you guys without being like sexual or anything like that. But me like pushing on them, they are so soft like this. Like they are nice and squishy and soft. If you can see that there, they jiggle nicely. I have a push up bra, so they're not gonna jiggle real nicely. But um, driving in the car, going over bumps, they're like jiggling, jiggling, jiggling like that. Very, very soft and squishy and fun to play with. Sorry for the boob shot. Did it change your nipples in any way? Also, did they move? to like a different side or shape or anything. No, it did not change my nipples whatsoever. And they did change, um, I wouldn't say side or shape, but they were starting out like breast implants usually always do. They're very high up until they drop. And when they drop, they're very natural placement. So you may not have them natural looking, but it's naturally placed here. So um, yes, they did move but just to drop down and get positioned to my body and how my body would handle them. Is there anything you can't do now because of them? No, I can do everything the same. The only thing is sleeping is just a little bit more uncomfortable um, to get comfy. But once I'm comfy, then I'm fine. Like sleeping on my stomach, or my side for a long period of time because they're just like pushing like this, but it's all right. This question was asked like five times, believe it or not. Um, if you had a daughter, would you let her go through the same thing if she was absolutely sure? This is so hard to answer because I've never had a daughter, so I wouldn't like to make parenting tips or thoughts about parenting right now just because I have never been a parent, so I don't wanna be in that mindset right now and say, oh, I would do this or I wouldn't do this because I haven't been a parent, so I can't have that mindset and I can't properly come to a conclusion. But I am all for people wanting to do what they want. If it's, the reasoning is for them. Like if they're wanting to do it because somebody else has it or because of some, some other reason other than themselves, then I don't like that. But I don't know, it's really hard for me to answer. So those are all the questions about fake boobies that you guys had. I thank you guys so much for watching this. If you wanna know more questions, maybe me doing more videos about it. But if you guys have any more videos that you want me to do about fake boobs, then you can tweet me your guys' suggestions for boob videos to do. If there's anything that you wanna know or curious about, if you want me to do a whole video of it, let me know and thank you guys so much because I love your guys' suggestions because I always wanna do videos on what you guys want. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a boobalicious day. Bye guys. Do you ever wake up in the morning after curling your hair the night before and have no idea what to do with it and it's just a mess? Don't worry because I'm here to show you guys how to style these curls and to make them cuter and quick styles. So start off by combing.